Andre SOG's award said he's going to give, he's thinking about giving the haters what they want and fighting Sergey Kovalev a second time. No, you're not giving the haters what they want. You're giving boxing what what boxing wants. That's just what the fight we want to see. Um, this is your boy CJ Goodfellow with the boxing clinic. He's talking about he's giving a, he's giving a header. Am I giving a header shit? We knew your purpin ass wasn't going to um, retire. You know, you was going to try to, you try to maneuver your way around Kovalev to get make Kovalev make another fight because he didn't make that much money uh, and jump back in the ring. But at the end of the day, you have nowhere to go to make money in the light heavyweight division. You say you don't want to fight a Donald Stevenson. You say you don't want to Kovalev. Who else going to make you that cash? You going to fight John Pascal in Canada? Fuck out of here. And he's trying to act like, you know, he didn't need Kovalev. He didn't need the money. Motherfucker, he was out three years fighting bums for under, probably a, a lot under a million dollars. So you need the money. You know what I'm saying? And um, he ain't no established fighter, you know, money-wise, where he can go hang it up like Floyd did. Um, you know, after he fought, you know, Ricky Hatton, I think that's when he hung it up. Um, he can't do that. You know, his career, you know, he was off already. He can't do that. And a lot of people say that, you know, the Kovalev fight was a robbery. You cannot call a close fight a robbery. A lot of people say, I had him by four or five, six points. You don't know how to score a boxing fight. After that knockdown, War arguably, you know, locked in and won a lot of those rounds. And some of those rounds were dirt close. Now, if you say... I think Kovalev won. I can respect that, but acting like it was the biggest robbery in boxing history, absolutely not. Everybody who's want to score a, the aggressive fighter, that's not how you score a fight. Yes, he's showing ring generalship by being aggressive, but is it effective aggressiveness? And a lot of that aggressive that Kovalev was, was doing some of that towards the end of that fight where he was gassing was not effective aggressiveness. Ward was landing a cleaner, sharper punches and controlling his distance. Just because you aggressive and, 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 and bulldozing in and moving forward don't mean you 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 win in a fight. And a lot of people believe that shit. Now, if you're going out there banging the body, banging the head, wobbling your opponent, cleanly hitting them, and showing them who's boss, then yeah. And if Kovalev was doing that, he would have knocked Andre Ward out. He has that type of mythical power. And his number one issue was in that fight, he didn't cut the ring off. And if, if he doesn't work on cutting the ring off, and work on a new strategy for Andre Ward. Andre Ward is already honed in and locked and ready to already know what Kovalev is going to do. This is going to show us if Kovalev is more than a one-trick pony. He's an excellent boxer, but he didn't cut the ring off. I, I question the feet work. And, um, you know, he didn't cut that ring off. I thought being with Abel Sanchez for a time, you know, he can cut that ring off like a glove can. And if he cut that ring off, he get Andre Ward. We not even Andre Ward out of here. In that second and third round, we're not even here talking about it. We're not talking about this fight no more. He, Sergey Kovalev is to blame. You know, all coming in that fight, it was that HBO wanted Kovalev to be the star. They were going to rob Andre Ward if it was it was close. And it was total horseshit. They let him win. It was a close fight.